I wish to raise a point of order and understanding order 54 relating to the adequacy of replies. I wish to raise my concerns about uh, continued inadequate replies to parliamentary questions from the Minister for Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth. I have already emailed my concerns about this uh, to the Count Coller's office. I also give replies to you, Count Coller, or to you, Chair, and Count Coller. Again, a number of questions placed to the Minister have not been adequately answered. I have sought specific information uh, from the Minister via parliamentary questions to have the uh, details uh, placed on the record of the House. However, the response received advises me that a response will be issued in the coming days and to put my questions to the community engagement team. This is not an adequate reply, in, and in what form will the response uh, be issued? Will, uh, will it be put on the record of this House? It, in, it, <clears throat> It is my right as an elected representative to place parliamentary questions and to have these uh, responses put on the record of the House, particularly when they relate to expenditure of state funds and decisions being made which uh, relate to my constituency. So I do not think that these responses are adequate, and I'm asking the Count Corner uh, if you will instruct the Minister to respond to all parliamentary questions in full to ensure full transparency and accountability. Thank, thank you. Th thank you, Deputy McGrath. And uh, that's noted, uh, and I'll raise it with the Count Corla, um, and who will, I'm sure, raise it with the Minister in turn. So uh, noted under Standing Order 54.